What's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And a, hey, as promised, we here with Scooby Doo versus Courage the Cowardly Dog Death Battle. Now, like I said, my other, like I said in my other reaction, which was the. Which was the JT music reaction. How in the world are you gonna analyze this? You got two dogs who are known for being scared as hell of creatures, animals, other animals to be exact. Freaking monsters, ghosts, demons whatever so in a death battle how in the world is this gonna be i have to put the mic close to me because i want i want to make sure y'all hear me right how in the world is they gonna do this one well all i can say is this is gonna be something very 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 interesting so we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my social shop there and without further ado let's get into the video this episode of death battle sponsored by shady rays scooby-doo the miraculous mutt from mystery incorporated Courage, the cowardly dog straight out of nowhere. Canis yeah. familiaris, man's best friend, the dog. No animal companion has stood by humanity's side as long or as loyally. Even, and maybe especially, these two yellow-bellied lily and are scaredy cats. Yeah. Oh, dogs. He's wears and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death battle. battle. How is this gonna go? The ages, countless philosophers have posited the same question time and time again. Scooby Dooby Doo, where, where are you? Ready we got everywhere, from cartoons to comics, from video games to board games, from live theater to the most incredible major motion picture of all time. He's the greatest Dane since Hamlet. But his monumental presence <laughs> in popular culture belies his humble origins. Born to Momsy and Dada. So. <laughs> Look at this. So, full name Scoobert Do. What the hell? Species Great Dame. Weight 331 pounds. What? But then again, he is a big dog, so I guess. Age is seven years old. Ah, the way how he. Hey, all I gotta say is the way how Scooby Doo has been everywhere for so many years. He gotta be more older than that. But I get it with cartoon, they always do. They never age a certain character and such. They always make them stay the same age or whatever and such. Even if it is a dog. As a driver's license, same birthday as Bigfoot. Friends with Kurt the Cowardly Dog. I could. Well, obviously, both of them niggas. Both of them dogs are literally scaredy dogs. I can see them being friends. Not gonna lie. In Dewsville, USA. Ah, Dewsville <laughs> ain't what it used to be ever since they moved all those manufacturing jobs to Bangladesh. The young Scooby what? was adopted by the Rogers family and their prodigal gluttonous son, Norville. Better known AKA friends, Shaggy. Shaggy. Those friends yeah. being Velma Dinkley, Daphne Blake, Fred Jones, and sometimes... Scrappy. With their power <laughs> Scrappy. Line, they are Mystery Incorporated. A cadre of snot. Yeah, let me know. Well, basically, like this. I've always said that when it comes down to it, between the two girls, Daphne and Velma, let's be honest. Every girl has always dressed up for Velma for Halloween. And I can guarantee you that since Halloween just passed, Every girl has dressed up as Velma. Because let's be honest. Velma is way, way, way more better. And way more fine looking than Daphne. Because let's be honest. 
it's because it's typical because let's face it with Daphne it's the typical right so you expect her to be pretty but something about how Velma looks especially in the other Mr. Incorporated it's not this one right but it's the other one like like this one but Mr. Incorporated that version of Velma hey what can I say the way how she looked there was way more finer and let's be honest she was way more freakier towards Shaggy. You think I'm wrong? Go watch it. I'm telling you. Not like this one, but the other one. I don't know which one it was. It probably was just called Mystery Incorporated. But I guarantee you, she was way more freakier in that one. Foiling seemingly paranormal crimes and unmasking corrupt authority figures. All of whom definitely would have gotten away with it too if it were those menling kids and that dog too. He is indispensable in mystery ink investigations. Great Danes were bred by 17th century German nobility to hunt bear, boar, and deer. Okay. Which means he's a master tracker. Scooby's okay. super sniffer nose can root out the bad guys no matter how well hidden. They were Ooh. called Kamarhunda or Chamber Dogs because they stay in their prince's chambers and protect them from assassins. Such brave, fearless doggos. Too hmm. bad for Shaggy and the gang. The this one, this one I was talking about. Tree, it defied the laws of Newtonian physics and rocketed into space at the speed of light because Scooby is an absolute coward. He's terrified Barry. of his shadow and constantly anxious about everything imaginable. <laughs> and his only motivation is his delicious Scooby snacks. Scooby snacks. Them dames. So Trust me. It's for Scooby Doo, give him. No matter what the situation is, whether it's to hunt ghosts, hunt monsters, go through abandoned parks, whatever. If you give this dog a damn Scooby Snacks, he's gonna be right for it. It's just crazy to think. I like think that he's actually kind of a badass. Scooby's a master of the dupe, a classic technique of cartoon tricksters. <laughs> Sometimes called the power of positive assertion. Scooby flexes his mastery of disguise to fool would-be attackers, mm. like seducing zombies as a belly dancer, or tricking a jester into entering an existential crisis. This man was so thoroughly convinced to rethink his entire life, he went all the way home and got into bed before realizing he'd been fooled. Obviously, these disguises shouldn't work at all, but Scooby's just- But somehow it works. Talented, they just do. Uh, see, this is a perfect example. No one in their right mind would think that that's anyone but Boomstick in an awful wig and makeup. That's but, mom. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, man. If those disguises you should get smacked. are completely impossible, that's because they are. You might have thought of the Scooby Doo series as being pretty grounded with all its men and masks, but then one day, the mask did not come off. That's right, it's terror time again. It has been into the monsters started being real and yeah, since the 1980s. Like, remember those Scooby Snacks? They started to give him a physical boost in strength, kind of like Popeye's spinach. <laughs> That's nothing. Shaggy's I'm brilliant sure. uncle, Albert Shaggleford, upgraded those snacks with nanite technology, giving them a variety of different effects. Wait, Everything what? From invisibility, robotic armor, force fields, super intelligence, and panther! Yeah, nano machines, dog! And we're just getting started. What? He can stretch and squash his body any way he likes, even duplicating himself. What is in the what the hell? Since when Scooby you know what? It's since when Scooby Doo can freaking Well he just explained it, but what the hell? Now I see why he loves those damn Scooby snacks. <laughs> like goddamn. I would not expect him to love it that much. But to each his own, I guess. He can stretch and squash his body any way he likes, either right. duplicating himself or regenerating from damage. Like being chopped into pieces, crumbling into dust, or just blowing up. His soul was literally scared out of his body, <laughs> and both his body and soul kept going at the same time. That doesn't make sense. He can really does in multiple places at once, ignore the laws of gravity, rewind time with his time scepter or super speed, <laughs> draw things into existence, and mess with the plot of his own show. Things get yeah. a little too spooky for him? He'll just cut to commercial break. He's also got weapons like the Super Spooker 3000. A gun that instills fear into the hearts of man. Oh, of course, they would have to go to like an actual gun. It, it literally shoots fear. Or the chest of demons. 
an ark containing 13 monstrous ghosts. Ghosts! Should you be trapped within its grasp, your body... While typically used to trap all manners of and demons, one of, one of its... Sorry, I thought my life was falling. One of its original 13 men who had their mortality stripped by the chest themselves. So, <laughs> weird thing to add in there, but hey, that's with death battles. They're gonna find some way how to make a character look badass. Even if it is Scooby Doo, encourage. Your soul will be imprisoned in everlasting torment in this heretofore undiscovered 10th circle of hell. Mm. Neat. Scooby Doo has dodged laser beams and electromagnetic waves, survived being at the epicenter of an explosion <laughs> that blew up time, and successfully huh? performed the Zabrinsky Triangle with Shaggy and Maddie Ziegler. The Zabrinsky Triangle is a dance so unbelievably dangerous that even imperfect executions have caused widespread destruction. When performed perfectly, it was so beautiful it literally lit up the entire universe and blew up the enormous snow globe containing it. It makes sense if you watch the show. Actually, no, it, it doesn't. It really doesn't. It's literally, anything. The volume of the broken glass compared to the size of our entire. Bro, it's Scooby. Look here. All I'm gonna say is this: as much as they're going into details, let's face it. It's freaking Scooby. Hold on. Let I want to make sure I'm still recording. If I'm not, I'll be pissed. But it's Scooby freaking do, nigga. It's not like it's anything different. Hold on. Okay, we good. I'm, I was about to say. But nigga, it's Scooby-Doo. Any, anything goes in there. So I wouldn't expect anything less not to go in there. Freaking... Taking this what else? Literally, we can measure the volume of the broken glass compared to the size of our entire mm. cosmos within it. In order okay. to shatter what is essentially an enormous glass superstructure, each dancer would have to be generating enough energy to destroy our universe 11 quintillion times over. That's what right. the hell? Maddie Ziegler is a universe buster. With Scooby Doo <laughs> as their nigh omnipotent mascot, Scooby 12 with it. has saved the world from alien invasions wielded the power of a yellow lantern ring and was even made a member of the mystery analysts of Gotham by Batman himself. Yes, Batman, the world's greatest detective, recognizes oh, yeah. Scooby's skills. Even facing And boy, oh boy, was Scooby-Doo ever like freaking collabed with many other things. At one point, motherfucker, they collabed with WWE. Scooby-Doo met the likes of John Cena, Kane, freaking Vince McMahon, AJ Lee, all them shits. Think about it like that. Hey, nigga, what? That means the. You know what? That made me know it's just crazy. That Scooby Doo has been there for a long, Man, long the time. Greatest detective recognizes Scooby's skills, even facing down and defeating the evil entity in Elder oh, yeah, Dark damn God, and surviving its death, which rewrote all of reality. Yeah, you know, the talking dog that crossed over with the Harlem Globetrotters and Don Knotts defeated Satan. No biggie. <laughs> so, where is Scooby Doo? He's solving mysteries and saving the world with his found family. Also, he's an alien. Wait, what? We interrupt this program and even... bring you Courage, Courage the Cowardly Dog Show! Starring Courage, the Cowardly Dog! Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband. Used to stay! Creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up, up to, to Courage, Courage to, to save the new home. home. Stupid wig, oh. you made me look bad! Man. Oh, look, 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 look. You're breathing on me. Get away. <laughs> but who wouldn't be excited for one of animation's mightiest mutts? Courage is an adorable pink beagle with a heart of gold and an undying love for his doting Stupid dog. mistress. Dear boy. Hair hunters with intense Hold up a second. Well, I get the stupid dog and dear boy. Dear boy, maybe not really. But Leonard? Leon? When is Courage ever named Leon? 
Because I've watched Courage the Cowardly Dog from when I was younger. I have never heard them nickname this dog Leon before. What? Oh, look. Not named Stinky Lulu. What the hell? What kind of dog? Who would name a dog Stinky Lulu? What the hell? You would have to really hate your dog to rename him that. His doting Scottish mistress. Beagles are hair hunters with intense... Can lay 14 gold... Okay. Excellent senses of smell. I'm not even going... Lungs that'll knock your socks up. All of which fits courage to a T. <laughs> especially the howling part. To be fair, courage has a lot to howl about. Nowhere USA is a magnet for interdimensional weirdness. Attracting <laughs> some of the strangest... Freaks in the world. Like two criminals, cats, and laquack, mattress demons, mummies, were moles, mad scientists, gods and goddesses, aliens, robots, alien robots, this chicken, the king of flan, and of course the United States government. And Courageous Courage is absolutely terrified of all of it. But his devotion to Muriel means he'll always mm, stand yeah. and fight the good fight. Good I'm surprised Courage never wanna make them freaking take Eustace. Cause the way how that nigga always treating Courage so bad. You would think Courage would say, you know what? For many times this nigga's always calling me stupid dog, has treated me bad, has made me got into situations that I'm not supposed to. Nigga, I would if I was Courage, I would say, Fuck Eustace. His bitch ass. I don't care if he's my owner or not. But to be honest, Mule was the one who really founded me. Mule was the one who always took care of me and really cared for me. This nigga hasn't. So I would say, fuck you, sis. What do you mean? If I was courage. But his devotion to Muriel means he'll always step up and fight the good fight. Good thing he's kind of a genius. He's a brilliant engineer capable of whipping up the most devious of traps almost instantly. And he's got an unending supply of tools at his disposal. Everything from yeah. his trusty mallets to grappling hooks, ray guns, flamethrowers, chainsaws, bombs, beagle-sized cannons, yo-yos, <laughs> a mind control helmet, and much, much more. Gear, and Wait, what? the god bone. An ancient artifact that is completely irresistible to yeah. a mortal dog, forcing them to lick it until they die. Except for yeah, once, once that, once that dog licks that god bone and such, I don't care what dog you are. You could be a beagle, you could be a poodle, you could be a pit bull, you could be a Wattweiler, you could be one of the vicious dogs in the world. Once you lick that god bone. You gon' whimper like a motherfucker. <laughs> but apparently Courage beat that dog. Boom. Crazy to even think. Mortal dog. Forcing them to lick it until they die. die. Except for Courage, of course. I guess if you have the willpower to stare down a gigantic purple foot mobster, you can't yeah. resist even the most delicious of treats. And he yeah. can pull all of this stuff out of his ass anytime he wants. He always has exactly what he needs. All thanks to his computer named... Computer. A sentient desktop which knows almost anything and everything. Even if he has a bit of an attitude about it. Which yeah. means he's always prepared, especially when he can shapeshift his body into literally anything, anything. You can think of. From inanimate objects to monsters to different animation mediums entirely. Courage <laughs> usually uses this as a form of charades to communicate with others, but don't get it twisted. These aren't just visual animation gags. His body is actually shapeshifting. Courage's <laughs> body is a canvas upon which his imagination runs wild. He can stretch to crazy lengths, <laughs> shrink to microscopic sizes, turn invisible, appear anywhere he wants, or duplicate himself. He's also effectively immune to damage. Oh, which is crazy. Pain, but apparently his like, think about it like this. The amount of pain, the amount of shots Courage always gets from either a club, the fucking kitchen sink as you saw, anything. You will feel the pain, don't get it wrong, but somehow this dog will freaking rejuvenize back like it. He's like Zoro. He's like the and he's like the anime Zoro. The only difference is with Zoro, he would he would take them hits and say nothing happened. With Courage, he'll take the hits and he'll definitely know what happened. <laughs> like what? It just goes to show you 
what loves and what a dog's love will do in order to let their owners be fake be safe but apparently his sheer terror overrides it like the times he tore himself in half or turned himself fully inside out the dude somehow vaporized his entire body completely and then come back without even ash remaining and he just popped back good as new yeah, like, like, what? Shenanigans, but technically anatomically correct until it isn't courage can create objects from his imagination and often breaks the fourth wall directly yep. <laughs> addressing the audience now you would think being impossible to kill force of nature would boost his confidence a bit but isn't that what anxiety does to you it undermines your sense of self-worth and magnifies the problems around you sure Ooh. but courage is also fighting gods just as powerful as himself yeah this enormous alien which could spike meteors so hard it spun the earth a thousand years into the future that's crazy then yeah. courage got shot out of a cannon that <laughs> punched him through the moon the things I do for love, the things he does for love. So he performed an exorcism, tanked a nuclear explosion, physically created a tidal wave, survived being pulverized into dust, pummeled by Valkyries, Valkyries in Valhalla, ran the sun's radius in eight seconds, defeated Evil Empress, Dr. Zalox, Rumpus Skilled Skin, and Mega Courage. Mega Courage, sorry. So you imagine that. Nine times out of ten, most do nine times out of ten, most people will do anything for love, but they might be a limit. <laughs> but in but cartoon or not, you tell me who would do these type of things for love? Right? Whether dog or whatever. Name me somebody who would do these types of love. Do this to prove your love for you. Dog, human, whatever. If you can name me that, I'll wait. You haven't? That's because nobody can. And somehow Courage is the only person who can do that shit. Crazy. To the future. That's yeah, a better person than me. Courage got shot out of a cannon that punched him through the moon, only to get slapped by that same alien and sent that ugly ass alien. the planet, and he was fine. Courage is strong enough to physically patch up holes in the ozone layer, mm. hold stars in his hands, and scream so loud he it shattered the sun. A scream like that would be like getting hit with over 100 <laughs> septillion hydrogen septillion. bombs all at once, which is, you know. A lot. And keep in mind, the sound waves of his scream would have had to travel through the near vacuum of space. Basically, a complete scientific impossibility. Next time you replace my beers in the fridge with LaCroix, I'm getting my boy Jack Spaniels to blow up the sun. You've been warned. <laughs> That's not all. One time he operated a peloton controlling a UFO and pedaled it fast enough to fly past Saturn, enter hyperspace, and cross the Milky Way That's galaxy. That's that. Though Courage's greatest challenge came from inside his very home. A monster who tortures his poor poop AKA every single you day. Stitch. A depraved, psychotic motherfucker. The true prince of darkness. The greatest this. villain in you stitch. history. Is this? He even collected all of Courage's greatest foes like a legion of Like look at this This nigga really collected Courage's Rivals All together And somehow Courage still wants to save this nigga This man literally collected Every enemy Hold up let me show you Eustace even collected all of Courage's greatest Collected every one of Courage's enemies From the foot To the water lady To the cat To the duck To that damn Whatever that thing is This Whatever that thing is To him Collected every enemy of Courage And still Courage wants to save him Nah by the time Look, it was basically like this. Once he's he, it was already bad. It was already good enough for me to like make this nigga gone. Cause I gotta remember, I'm a dog. I could literally kill somebody, right? I'm surprised Courage don't remember that he a dog. He can literally bite one of the owners. 
more specifically the one that treats him like shh. So I'm surprised he don't bite freaking Eustace in his little ass. Bite him in his mean ass. I know I would. What you mean? Back it up. Like what? Without a shadow of a doubt, if I'm Under courage, I'm biting that nigga. Eustace. Fuck him. He collected all of Courage's greatest foes like a legion of doom. Like for real. Honestly, beat Courage to a pulp in a game of dodge dodgeball. Ball. It gives all rednecks a bad name, Wiz. I want to end him. Lord. Everybody does. Okay. Well, Courage is accumulating. Everybody hated him. Always held him back until he met a kindred spirit, another cowardly monster hunting hound. Scooby Doo. Oh yeah, I remember him. Together they discover hmm. the source of nowhere's it's straight out of a dark matter meteor that controlled reality itself. Originally the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs, its dark matter can rewrite the laws of physics, control minds, mm. and turn courage into a giant kaiju. Taking the meteor mm. for himself, courage finally faced his fears, defeating this cicada queen goddess thing and saving his family once and for all. Like I said, I would say, fuck you, sis. Save Muriel. I'm surprised they never done that. I'm surprised they at least make one episode where Courage says, fuck you, sis. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. And just make Muriel stay. Because she's always treating him with care. But that nigga has never. Why they never do that? They should have. But it is what it is. Back up. As I know y'all agree with me too, like, put fuck, well, put F Eustace in the chat, in the comments below. Cause I know damn well y'all agree with me saying, this Eustace, Queen fuck him. And saving his family once and for all. Oh wow. Yes, even Eustace. That's what I'm, so let that be a lesson fuck him. Who would encroach upon the bag's humble farm. It has a protector. He hmm. may be small and he may be scared, but standing up to our peers is what makes us brave in the first place that's why his name is courage this episode of death hold up by shady rays are you hold up let's just skip the little ad shout out to the ads but respect to the ads but we here for the battle so with all due respect we ain't here for you we here for the battles Respects to the ads, respects, respects, respects to the ads, but we're here for the battles. With all due respect. Two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. All right, the commander right. are set. We throw oh. data through all possibilities. It's time. I didn't even vote who, who I got. Because I'm 2 and 0 with this. I want to keep that going. I'm going to say courage. I'm going to say courage for now. I'm going to say courage for now. I'm going to say courage. She ain't in there. <laughs> How they gonna do this? <laughs> Run. This This nigga's doing thumb move. Hey, no fair. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Look out. Y'all do remember this damn thing. Oh, 
I'm about to say they remember this damn thing's chasing them. It damn. <laughs> Close that bitch. Next door, please. Damn computer. How to defeat a great day with a speech impediment, eh? <laughs> you twit. Damn. That did dance. <laughs> You're feeding. The <laughs> Mr. Incorporated. The dog bone. All dogs love their bones. Facts. Facts. Uh oh. The meteor ball. Oh. be bad. My name is Chad James. And it's not. Really not. Uh oh. Ah, uh, hell no. Nah. Big Scooby in this bitch. He do. The screen. That scream is crazy. You stitch. Get that nigga. Stupid dogs, you made me look bad. Ah, fuck you, Sushi. Get him. Hey. Fuck that nigga. Good job. Yeah, well. one. Wiz, uh, as happy as I am to avoid on-screen dog murder, uh, wasn't one of them supposed to die? Not yeah. Not the Great Norris Sancho Singularity event of 2015 if we had a result like this. It can't end like this, right? Even with Courage's insane cosmic feats, you'd mm -hmm. think the Zabrinsky Triangle would be enough to seal the deal. Yeah, like... Both pooches could regenerate from basically any kind of physical damage. Both were incredibly smart in different okay. ways. Okay. Scooby was more of a trickster with his dupes, while Courage was a scheming genius. Okay, Computer but... could have given Courage the edge, if not for their canon crossover, where it failed to have solid information on Scooby and the gang. So yeah, like, I guess so, but... And for 90% of their arsenals, they were evenly matched. Transmutation, mind control, you Ooh. get it. They're tunes with basically anything, except for the chest of demons and I guess. the matter meteor. Sure, the chest could theoretically always trap courage, mm -hmm. but he'd always be able to escape and destroy it with the dark matter meteor. Yeah, he and Scooby could repair the damage by reversing time and then trap him again, and then courage would break out Excuse again. Me. You know where this is going. Yeah, basically, reverse this battle between man's best friends would never end. But this is a death battle, somebody has to die. Someone did, Wiz. I guess, yeah, he says, Someone did. Yep, he did. Let me tell you that you're kind of scary sometimes i don't like dog killers scooby and courage were incredible Bex. tough opponents that could go blow for blow for blow they were smart powerful and incredibly broke oh fuck eustace oh, darn it whiz i guess you could say eustace had one hell of a rough day i shit you not oh those were powerful dude stop it this battle is a draw i guess Hi, I guess you I call that a win so for watching. We are about to announce the next episode, but before we do that, if you're not a death battle member yet, click the join button below. See what you're missing. Let's see who's next. Who we got next time. Okay. Rick. Rick versus the doctor. Ooh, Rick and Morty versus doctor who. Okay. So. Sorry. I guess you can call that a win cuz I mean I didn't lose but I didn't win I don't know I called but we all know who the real winners are us cuz 
fuck you, Stisk. Cause hey, like like he said, we don't like dog haters or dog killers or dog abuse or just any animal abuser. So fuck you, Stisk. That's what I'm saying. Kill that nigga. But you well on a on a live then you know what I'm trying to say, but. But hey, I guess we're all winners, cause technically I didn't lose, so I keep I'm keeping that as a win. I don't care what you say, I keep that as a win. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below and let me know what you thought about this battle in search. What do you who do you thought should have won if it wasn't for that? But either way, it's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up, hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 2K.